Hello everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to upgrade and uh, basically install Minecraft on your PC. This is Minecraft Java Edition. We're going to be upgrading from 1.13 to 1.13.1 or really any Minecraft version to 1.13.1 now that uh, world upgrades are fixed with 1.13. So great stuff there. But first there's a message from our sponsors which is game servers. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash MC server to get an awesome 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for just one dollar per month running minecraft 1.13 it'll allow you to play with your friends without having to worry about using your own computer for anything and guess what if you want to play with someone you don't necessarily trust you want to make your server public you can do that using game servers again that is the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash mc server nevertheless what if you want to upgrade to minecraft 1.13.1 right so we're, we're now past 1.13 here we're on 1.13.1 that is great well the first thing you need to do is make sure you have the minecraft launcher now now the Minecraft launcher looks like this. It's got this at the top. Yours might not have this right here. If, if you want that to show up, just click the three dots right there, the three lines, and this will show up. But this is basically what it looks like. Got a big play button in the bottom here. That's what you're looking for. If you don't have this, you need to go download it, right? So to do that, go to the second link down below. It's going to take it to our website here, which actually shows you how to download and install Minecraft and, and, and covers it all step by step, more so than what I'm going to be doing in this video. But to get the download, you can come and click right here. This is the download for Minecraft Java. Now, that being said, you do need to have bought Minecraft Java Edition. To do that, once you're on this page, just click on store up here, and here it is. Buy Minecraft. You do need to own Minecraft to be able to update to 1.13.1, right? That's basically what we're doing here. So, once you've got that downloaded, you've downloaded the Minecraft launcher over here and gotten that running, guess what? All you need to do is open up the Minecraft launcher and to uh, update to 1.13.1, all you need to do is click on this right here, these three lines, come over here to launch options, and then find the profile you want to play on. Now, I would recommend just adding a new profile in here. Now, I'm going to add this new profile, and I'm going to call it play.breakdown craft.com exactly like that and the reason I'm calling it that's because that's our server if you guys want to play on a minecraft 1.13 minecraft server SMP survival factions coming kit PvP is coming we are launching September 1st 2018 so be sure to come play with us on that day play it up breakdowncraft.com subscribe to the channel if you want updates on it want awesome server based videos and all that stuff but uh, yeah that's why I'm naming my profile that you can name yours whatever you want next to version here you just want to click on you know latest release 1.13.1 you could also come in here and click on release 1.13.1 basically that means it's not going to update or it's just going to stay 1.13.1 in the future it won't automatically update i'll do release latest release just because i want it to automatically update and i'm going to actually change our resolution here to 1920 by 1080. you don't have to do that that's just so when we launch into minecraft you guys will be able to see it now we can go ahead and click save here come over here to news and we should be able to click this arrow and have the play.breakdowncraft.com right there it is click on that and just click play now it's going to download some things it's going to take some time because this is the first time you've updated to this minecraft version it's actually downloading around 60 megabytes of data so nothing crazy but it does have to download some stuff to get this version up and running note if you're uh say installing mods for the first time you'll need to do this because it needs 1.13 to be installed for it to actually be able to install mods and things like that like forge and optifine and all that stuff you need to have ran 1.13.1 at least one time in the past with the vanilla. So here we are. We're in the game, as we can see in the bottom down here, 1.13.1. There's not really much added into this game, except if uh, we convert a world, well, we can actually do that now. So we've got Nick's Craft here. This is a risk because it's uh, a world that I hold near and dear to my heart. It's a big Let's Play series we did. You can check it out. The eye right above my face at the top of the screen. But nevertheless, I'm going to update this world to 1.13, and I am going to back it up just in case now with world update issues fixed and everything this actually should update to 1.13 without much of any issues now I do want to apologize for any lag that I'm getting this is a pretty intensive process so I'm gonna let this happen I'll see you guys in game we're loading up terrain that's a good sign typically by this point 1.13 conversion worlds would have crashed on 1.13 however 1.13.1 has fixed this world uh, upgrade issues that many many people have been having with their older worlds and getting them to the new world format so most of the conversions have been done right now it's just going through and rendering all the chunks and there we go we are now in game i'm gonna let this render out for a second i'm gonna run around and kind of get through some of this original lag and then i'll see you guys here in a moment all right there we go most of the lag is done and uh, we can see that this world did convert up to 1.13 without any issues even kept you know the wear on my armor and everything like that 
from 11.2. So not even 12.2. We're converting uh, this whole entire world, skipped an entire Minecraft version. And that mansion is still absolutely flipping incredible. So, nevertheless, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helped you update your own game and your own world to 1.13.1. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more awesome Minecraft tutorials and server videos and everything like that every single day of the week. I, uh, I, I'm glad to be back. It's been a while, and I'm back in the community full strength ahead. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. My name is Nick, and I'm out, guys. Peace.